physical properties of solutions are often related to the concentration of the solute in the solution. This is molarity. Now with mole fraction, the same quantity we have used in the fractional abundance as well as with gases can be used to determine the percent weight of a chemical compound. So percent weight is similar to mole fraction except that we will use masses of each. Simply put, percent weight equals the mass of solute divided by the mass of solution times 100. So as we apply percent weight to the following example, let's see our approach to the solution. A solution of sodium chloride is prepared by dissolving 5 grams of salt in 550 grams of water. What is the concentration of this solution given as percent by mass? Now we have the percent by mass formula written down, mass of solute divided by the mass of solution times 100. Our problem states that we have 5 grams of salt and our mass of solution would be the mass of water plus the mass of salt so we have 5 grams plus 550 grams. We take the 5 grams of salt divided by 555 grams times 100 and we would get an answer. In this case we get 0.9 percent. Here we have a problem where we were asked to determine the percent mass of a solution made from dissolving 30 grams of peroxide with 70 grams of water. We take our 30 grams of peroxide, we divide that by the 30 grams plus 70, which is our mass of our solution, we multiply that times 100, and we have a percent by mass as being 30 percent. Finally, we have taken the percent by mass problem and put a little twist to it. We are given that 7.5% by mass of the solution would be sodium chloride. And we know that the mass of the solution is 650 grams. We are asked to solve for the mass of sodium chloride in the solution and the mass of the water in the solution. Now the first thing we need to do is if we take 100 minus 7.5 then we get 92.5% of the solution will be water. Now if we relate this to being out of 100 grams, we can now say that 92.5 grams out of 100 grams is water and 7.5 grams out of 100 grams would be the sodium chloride. Now that we have said that, we are going to take our 650 grams of, sodium, of our solution. We're going to multiply it times 7.5 grams over 100 grams solution. And we would have 48.8 grams being sodium chloride. Likewise, we will take our 650 grams of solution times our 92.5 grams of water over 100 grams of solution and we would have that 601 grams would be water.